Some people might suggest, is it often worth speaking out? You know the sort of thing I'm saying, it doesn't matter what job you're in, eventually if you become something of a militant, you know, and I don't mean that unkindly, but if you, even if you stand up for people, you're then signalled out, out, you know, people pick you out and later on down the line, miraculously when they are making job cuts, you're first in the line. I remember reading about this and being told by this, by the brilliant Hollywood star Mickey Rooney, who told me that Louis V. Mayer, the king of MGM at the time, overheard somebody, one of the tour guys taking people round MGM, basically attacking the company. And when they came to look at the financial problems, they decided they need to make cuts. The only person they were making cuts to was that particular tour guide. You see how these things work. And this is now the problem, of course, facing this particular lady. That's right, Amanda Abington. She is being seen as a strictly crusader. But truly, what's going to happen next? Let me explain. Morning, lovely to see you. You're right. Yes, we'll have a quick wave. Thank you so much as ever for your time today. If you enjoy Strictly Come Dancing, as I know we all do, whether it's Dancing with the Stars in your part of the world, the fun is seeing the celebrities, and I think really what an excellent job the professional dancers do. You know, I've been on the Strictly dance floor, let me tell you, and <laughs> some people just don't have rhythm, do they? I know, don't look at me like that. You try your best, don't you? <laughs> you might as well drag around a dummy, you know? I mean, it's kind of, why, why bother, you know? But I do it admire the people that can do it. I think anybody who can do any form of dance, you know, is really, really talented. I love watching the waltz. So graceful, isn't it, when you watch it and stuff like that. But of course, all this now could be wiped away. One of our very favourite shows, over 20 years it's been on screen over here in the United Kingdom. Firstly, headed by the brilliant Sir Bruce Forsyth and continue with the blonde uh, assistant that is the beautiful Tess Daly. Now, what I find incredible about this, it's all about to crumble, all thanks to one of the the contestants last year's Amanda Abington who basically said she had such a terrible time that she had to go into therapy all sorts of stuff you know just terrible she had to withdraw from the show now as I said to you before you know this is we're not asking these people to scale a mountain in slingbacks or whatever it's simply a dance show that you were paying around about 60,000 pounds for to appear on right and then some of the celebrities let me tell you cannot believe when they get voted off they can't believe how unpopular they are because the British public decide that that's how it works. So that's a bit of a wake up call. Amanda herself also has had few problems in her past career, some financial issues. I'll leave you to look those up. But now you see the bigger problem is this, whatever the outcome of this particular debacle, as it finally comes to its conclusion, she's finished. And whether she likes it or not, and people don't want to admit it, people won't want to hire her in case there are problems behind the scenes. You're seen as a troublemaker. Perhaps you start taking pictures on your phone, um, you know, maybe recording messages. People will feel uncomfortable around her. And I'm speaking out, you know, literally because this is what happens. Casting directors think, oof, no, you know, too much of a troublemaker. And I'm sure she's a nice lady and I'm sure she has wonderful acting talents. But when you do come out to the fore, like this yes people might support you on the way up but you watch when all of this retrieves back you will simply be moved away suddenly not uh, seen for certain jobs and whatever you will get will be something else where you'll need to be notorious a little like a reality show like I'm a celebrity get me out of here so while Amanda pushes ahead thinking she's literally spearheading the uh, strictly curse as it were truly she could be looking at the demise of her own career and that really is going to be harder to swallow than simply a few steps on the dance floor that allegedly she couldn't master. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.